Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a summer haul so I'm going away, not tomorrow, I'm going away on Wednesday, I'm going to Salou and I bought some clothes, I bought stuff on Boohoo, I bought stuff from Pennies I got a little bit of makeup stuff, I've one or two makeup things from Wish that are like like highlighter kind of eyeshadow stuff I know people are like, oh don't buy makeup from Wish, don't buy makeup from Wish but I saw it and I was like, oh my god, it's so sparkly, I just want it so, oh and I have a little bit of beauty and shoes and that's just so I'm going to show you what I bought and what I'm bringing with me. If you can see the little stain on my top, you probably couldn't, but I'm drawing attention to it now. I dropped foundation on myself while I was putting my face on, and my makeup's not working for me today. You should see, I'm a bit, but sure, I'm going to work in a little while, so I don't really care. So this will do for now. And my hair is just straight. My hair is just down. It's just down. Still green. If you watched my video on my when I dyed my hair with the L'Oreal Colorista, and it was a two-week wash-in, wash-out dye, yet yeah, no. No, we're still green at the minute. Still going strong. The blue is not coming out. The blonde is coming back a bit. You can kind of see the blonde more than you could, but there's still parts of it that are really blue. And I've done loads of different things. I'm afraid to strip it because I'm like my hair fall out. Paranoia Central. So I did like a home stripping kit where you like use baking soda and you use head and shoulders and like you make a paste. And I put that in my head and I slept it overnight. And then the next day, oh my god, my hair was like straw. So I had to do a freaking hair mask and put that in my head and see with that overnight so it's okay now but I refuse to put any more like bad things in my hair because I'm afraid of just damaging it so we're just gonna wait until it goes away that's the plan let's hope that works so I think I'll start off with le makeup because that's what I have in front of me so I bought this little palette uh, I bought it in pennies I said the price now so I'm like Yorkie it was if you can see it there it was eight euro and there's the colours that you get inside it. So you get like lovely little colours. I'll just swatch one or two of them for you. Oh, the only thing about it is there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pick up with them. Not pick up, powder, like drop off with them. So there's the little colours and I'll just run them across my hand. So they're pretty highly pigmented. Like you can see that they have a decent pigment in them. I'm probably like completely whitewashing that because it's sunny. But that's like four of the colours there and this still on my hand and now I'm covered in it. I have a baby wipe. Um I always keep a baby wipe handy because I got to get that off my hand because I could work with that on my hand. And I'd forget. Right, so I got that, it was eight euro. It's really nice that the colours blend really well and they're really pigmented, but the only thing is there's a lot of um fallout on them, which is like a bit upsetting. So that's that there. It's just a master palette, it's called PS it's from pennies and it was eight euro so you can't go wrong i wanted a, f a new palette before i went away and i can't save for the life of me so i didn't have money to buy an expensive one so i just bought this one so yeah i like pennies makeup i've no problem with it some people don't like it some people do it doesn't bother me it does the job at the end of the day you're gonna wash it off um i'm a big fan of makeup but i'm not the richest to always spend money on makeup so this is this is a little shimmery pot thing if you can see that it's just a little pot of shimmer. I bought it on Wish. I think I paid like a euro for it. And it's just a little shimmery pot. And I'll just show you how this looks. Now this is stunning. Wait, you see this. Oh, my hand is a bit wet, so it's just sticking. You can see that? Look, seriously, it's unreal. And it blends lovely. So you could use it like as a highlighter. It'd be very white though. If you use a small amount of size, get away with it as a highlighter. Um, go away. And you can also use it as an eyeshadow, which is what I used it as the other day. It was really nice. Um, so, yeah, I'm delighted with that. I think I paid a euro for it. It's a little jar of stuff. Um, just says number 16. It's an eyeshadow, apparently. There's a good amount in it. Can't go wrong for euro. And you'd like, everyone says, oh, it takes ages for stuff on which drive. I ordered a bunch of stuff, and it's all here. And it only took, like, two weeks. I was supposed to get here until the 13th of August, but it arrived... This arrived last week and then the other, the tripod I bought which is now on like the camera and the next show I'll show you which is like a highlight, a liquid highlight and wait you see these things, these are gas, right? So I bought these because I want to learn how to do acrylic nails but I don't really have the money to go and do a course so I'm going to teach myself. I think I should start off teaching myself and then I'll do a course. But I bought fake little fingers. How gas looking are they? So I bought these fake little fingers to practice on because none of my friends are willing to let me practice on them so I'm going to practice on the little fake fingers so now I have this little liquid highlight it's a little jar not a jar what's that thing called little tube of liquid highlight 
and it's like a goldish coppery colour. I'll just show you now what that looks like. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but if you can see that there, it's a coppery gold highlight. So it's nice, yeah, it's a little liquid highlight, it's lovely. It's not exactly what I was expecting, it's not as shimmery as I expected it to be. Which is a bit of a let down, let down. But it blends really nice into a real like naturally glow kind of highlight. So that's nice. Um, next thing I have is a pigment from Ingla. Why do I keep taking the lids off things before I show what I'm showing? So this is my little pigment from Ingla. It is in the shade 85 Pure Pigment Eyeshadow. So that's it there. And then you open it up and you get loads in it. I think this was 12 or 16 I paid for this. So I don't want to spend it. You can just see there, it's like gorgeous little, like, purpley, purpley, speak English, greeny, like, an orangey, no, not orange, red toned. So I'm just going to put a little bit out of my hand. And I'll show you. It's, uh, it's just, um, it's like oil slick. That's actually what it's like. It's, I think it was what, oh! It's supposed to be like mermaidy, but it's more oil slick in my opinion, and I love oil slick stuff. So that's it there, if you can see that. It's a gorgeous, 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 I'm like contorting myself here. Gorgeous colour. I'm in love with that. So that's that there. I think I paid 16 for that, and it's like an eyeshadow, it's lovely. And I bought drawer line for it to make it like, um, to turn it kind of into like a liquid eyeshadow. I'm covered in glitter now. And yeah, I'm obsessed with that. So. We are going to now move on to shoes. So I bought shoes for my holiday because I have a pair of Reeboks that are white but they're like in a jocker at this stage. They're like so bad. I've had them since Christmas but I wear them like every day because I'm one of these people. I don't buy shoes to look at them. Like I buy shoes and then I wear them to death and then I'll buy a new pair. So I bought two pairs of shoes for my holiday and the first pair I bought, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves for the glitter that you are about to see. Can you see them? Look at them. So these are shoes version of Birkenstocks. My friend got a pair of Birkenstocks as a gift for our birthday and they were, they were black snake skin. But you got to have your glitter. Your girls got to have our glitter. So they... Oh, I got my nails by the way. I got my nails done from my holiday. I need to put the nail off myself yesterday. But that's a story for another day. And um, I got... So when I do that, ah, they are orange and then I just got white glitter. Uh, but you're back to the shoes, sorry. Scatterbrain. So they... I'm breaking socks they're again like an oil slick glitter of like greens and purples and pinks and they kind of reflect a little bit as well so they're just so nice so that's them eh, so excited and then I have oh, let me get my who that no okay then I bought lilac vans can you see my babies look at this so these are lilac vans they were I forgot to tell you the price of the other two these were 31 euro uh, I got a 10% discount because I'm a student um, and then I bought these ones and these were 63, they're just the normal height vans, they're just normal, there's a little bit of suede at the back with the normal white and uh, they're a lilac colour. I couldn't, I was trying to choose for ages between what ones I wanted and then I finally decided these were the pair I needed. I wanted the platform ones but the platform ones didn't come in this colour. And then I was going to get like Converse that were this like silver to orange glitter like ombre but then my mum and my brother were like they're a little bit childish so I was like right I'll get these ones and I'm in love with them uh, I still kind of need to break them in a bit because they cut the heel off me to bits the when I wore them the first day but that was because I wore them invisible socks which don't really cover your ankles so that wasn't the cleverest of things to do but yeah there's my gorgeous new runners for my holly bops holly bops so then I was in pennies because where else would you buy your clothes and they were having a sale so my mum showed me this top it's a purple I don't know if you can see it it's a purple, um, what is that called? It doesn't have a sleeve. Sleeveless, sleeveless. Uh, a purple sleeveless tank top with holes in it, so you can see the holes there. It's got like stress, you can put it in your finger. See, it's got holes. And then on the front it says Los Angeles. So it says Los Angeles on the front with wings. And it's this gorgeous like, it kind of looks like a bleached purple. It looks like it's been bleached, so it's got like the distressed bleachy look with the holes, and there's more holes on the bottom and everything like that. And I'm in love with this, and it actually is really nice on because I like I thought it was gonna make me look kind of boxy because like things have a tendency to do that because I have a really small torso. So well, not really small, like it's not abnormal that it's like really weird, but like it's smaller 
then I can't explain I was told once I was getting Irish dancing dress that my body is smaller than my legs and like it's disproportioned in a little bit so things have a tendency to make me look boxy you still need to know that but sure I am a farm isn't anyway uh, what else did I buy in pennies I bought this bum bag so it's like a galaxy pink blue purpley um, bum bag it's got a big pocket there and a little pocket on the front and uh, that's just for walking around because we're going to Salou which has part of Ventura and so we're going around the parks this one I'd say I have two of them with me because I have one from last year but this there's a hair in my eye there's a hair where are we um, this one is a little bit bigger so this will be for like nights out because I don't do carrying handbags because I'll like leave it somewhere and it'll annoy me and stuff so this will fit like my phone my money we you bring talcum powder because you've got to help them to under tides because you know chub rope can't be having it so we got to have this talcum powder in there Lipstick, whatever else I need, will all fit in this for nights out. Oh, and then this is my one from last year, so I didn't really buy this this year. But this is like an oil slick one that I bought last year, which is a bit smaller. And I'll use that for going around the park because I carry a skill bag with me when I go around the park to put like water in and all because I get de dehydrated so easy and then I get heat stroke. Last year was hilarious. That I'll do like a little story time. I'll tell you what happened to me last year. I'll tell you all about Slew last year. It was gas crack. Um. Oh, I got, no, not Slew. I got Slew last year. It was Santa Santa Panza last year. Um, does it hear me? Oi. Why? Why you do this? Anyways. Um, yeah, we're going to Slew. Oh, my God. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. I think it's gone. Is it gone? I think it's gone. Yeah, we're going to Slew. Oh, my God. We're going to be in the airport for like four in the morning, which I'm just so not excited about. But then when we get there, it'll be all sunny and lovely, so I don't really care. And, um, I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I'm going to be vlogging. So I'm going to vlog the saloon. So that should be good crack. So there's five of us going. It's me, Jen, who you've seen in my Disney vlogs, if you watch my Disney vlogs. So it's me, Jen, Kelsey, Jade, and Amy. And we're going to have such a ball. Me, Jen, Amy, and, Kel and Jade went last year. So Kelsey's coming with us this year. I'm just going to have such a ball. I'm trying to find other things that I bought in pennies. I'm like on a tangent here. Uh, I'm reading really my suitcase that I only passed last night reef in the thing right so next we have this off the shoulder is it a bardo is that what they're called bardo top so this gorgeous like lovely blue like um oh my god english it's this lovely blue get off me and it's got gorgeous flowers all over it and then on the front it's got it wasn't back to front that'd be helpful it's got a tie so it's got a tie on the front it does that doesn't affect like how tight it is or it's just kind of like for effect and then it's got an elasticated off the shoulders. This is really nice on. And I'm going to wear this over shorts or I have black cloth so I haven't decided. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you. This purple top that I bought in pennies. This is my flight top with my purple runners and a black pair of cloth. Stunning. And my sunglasses because I don't go anywhere with my sunglasses. So yeah. So yeah, sorry. Back to the top. So this is a blue bar Oh, look, it has a tag on it. We're going well. That was 11. I paid 11 for this. It's a blue bar though it's just real stretchy it's off the shoulder yeah it's got gorgeous flowers on it it's real like hawaiian -y, i think i feel about it i have feels about it hawaiian feels so yeah that was that and that was 11. um what else did i buy in pennies 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 na 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 socks but you don't really want to see them uh i'll move on to next to things that me friends got me right well not got me friends went for box clothes and she didn't like them so she gave it to me because they're mine now so there's this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous crop top. So it's just a little strappy string crop top. It's there on the side. You can see me. Open arms. This was five pounds. She bought this when we were in Liverpool. Um, I didn't film Liverpool because my camera broke. No story for another day. But it's got like, is it Aztec? I suppose it's kind of Aztec, isn't it really? Uh, of like purples, greens, yellows, orange, pink, red, all different colours. So it's stunning and I love this. It's lovely over shorts. I've tried it on. So I'm obsessed with this. She let me uh, borrow it because she didn't like it after she bought it. Clever. But sure, she gave it to me and I'm happy as Larry. Uh, what else did she give me? She gave me a lend of this, which is like this like mad colour, um, just little vest top. It's like that uh, canvasy material kind of, or like silky. Yeah, like a silky material. Um, it's just got a mad print. Is that inside it? No. It's just got a mad print in it and then on the back it's got this little detail where it's like an open back. So it's like these two little like flappy bits that like cross over. So yeah, that's really cute. I don't know where she got it from or whatever, but it's like real nice. So that'll be cute on the Hollybops. Oh, I bought this in pennies. Back to pennies. 
Um, I don't know how I feel about this still, but we'll see what happens. This is just a black little crop top. It's got thick, chunky straps and a frill around the waist. I'm not a frill person on the right there, is it? Did you know? I'm not a frill person. I don't do frills. But it was on sale. I think it was like three quid, and so was the purple top with the Los Angeles written on it. They were like three quid, and I was like, oh, look at them. So I bought them. Um, it has a frill on it. I don't know how I feel about it. Both my friends, Megan and Jen, were like, oh my god, that's stunning on you. It's real flattering. But I see, I'll have, well, I didn't have makeup right now, so I didn't have to have my makeup and tan because I don't want to go anywhere without tan because it's pale. I'm not about that life. Um, next, we have, I suppose I'll go to my swimming suit that I bought in Dunn's. Uh, this is Dale Jones. So, there was a story behind this swimsuit. I wanted a swimsuit near enough to exactly like this out of Penny's right. And when I went in, they only had a size like 4 left. Now, who in their right mind is a size 4, I ask you. But in any US, this is a jungle print. I'm obsessed with this print. I want everything in my life to be this print. This is a jungle print swimsuit. I think I've said that before because literally I have a dress like this and I did that in my Penny's haul. Did I show these clothes in Penny's haul? No, I didn't. I only showed the dress. I won't show you the dress again then. Uh, this is um, a jungle print swimming suit so it's got padding in the cups which are like attached to it there's padding inside the cups so they don't come off so if you don't like that maybe you're not a fan I can't remember how much I paid for it I feel like it was 12 I have a feeling it was 12 so it's a v-neck and then on the back it's like not a low cut because I don't do low cuts but it's like just below just where your bra strap would be that's where it goes and then it's got like this lovely rope like crisscross detail on the back and yeah i'm obsessed with how it looks i usually don't like one pieces because they make me look bigger than i am but this one actually doesn't do that it's actually real flattering so i like this one um so yeah i'm a huge fan of that next in my bag of tricks i'm going to boohoo now so i bought things in boohoo because oh my god i was a dope and threw all my clothes from last year out all my summer clothes out i threw them all out threw them in a bin clever individual so i had to go into boohoo and buy new clothes so this is my shorts that i bought I had such difficulty finding denim shorts because Penny's denim shorts are real weird fitting and they just didn't fit me right. They made me look like a big pot belly so I couldn't have that. So I bought these on Boohoo. These are Boohoo's plus Diana studded ripped denim shorts in a size UK 18. Uh, shorts are really weird to me. I'm a very hippie person so shorts are very bit wide hips so shorts don't fit me always proper. Same with any denim really doesn't fit me proper all the time but these are lovely on me. Um, they've got a sudden detail down the leg and then they've got like the strings so not strings oh my god did I just say strings it's got the stress sorry on the bottom so it's like frayed and they're real nice they've got pockets on the back two pockets on the back and I just play de black denim jeans they fit lovely and uh, now I won't be saying that after I've eaten something because denim always doesn't come to flashy isn't it really after a big dirty kebab and a night out I won't be saying they fit so comfortably as they do now but they're real nice on and they go so nice with everything they're like they're lovely and they're just plain black so they go with everything that I have in my little bag of tricks next on is one of my faves but then again I probably won't wear it oh god look at the glitter oh it's all shining everywhere I'm probably got a blind just now on the camera so it's this bodysuit you can't see me because I'm behind it but sure it'll be grand like it's this bodysuit and oh my god look at them sparkles ching 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 so look at them sparkles the cat doesn't know what's happening my cat's on the bed so this is my bodysuit it's oh shush. it opens at the bottom it's got little clasps at the bottom so see them yokes um, I don't know what they're called are they iron iron something something the eye I feel like it has an eye involved in it if I can open them little clip button oh excuse me back to this sorry about that um so this is i'll probably tell you what's called this is plus lola festival sequin bodysuit so it's got multicolored sequins on it blue gold silver and red my brother said it looked like the american flag which i never copped oh i didn't tell the price i think the shorts did i pay 16 for the shorts i think i paid 16 for the shorts i think this was 20. I'm pretty sure this was 20 but I got like a 24% discount off everything so that was really good Um, so yeah it's just, just this bodysuit with v-neck Um, it's not elasticated at the waist which is a little bit irritating but it still fits grand Um, just you know, for comfort like you want a little bit of elasticity in there now so we have this it's a lovely gorgeous gorgeous I'm obsessed with it I love that and sparkles so it's sequin and I can't wait to wear it I haven't quite figured out what I'll wear it with but we will make it work. I've pushed my suitcase all the way over there with all my clothes in it. Now this 
is literally my favourite thing that I bought. This is the Plus Hayley Lace Trim Bralette and Wine. Can we just, can we just admire how pretty this is? And it's so nice on. It's so, 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 so nice on. So it's just got a lovely, it's got a thick waistband all the way around the back. Um, and then it's just got that little bit of lace down the front. It's a plunge neckline. It's, it's fit, it just, oh my God, I just can't. It looks so nice on. And like, it look, it's actually really slim. And you wouldn't think it like it would be because it's a crop top like. But you don't look big in it, anything like that. It looks lovely. It covers it. It's real modest and stuff like that. It's lovely. Now I don't have the biggest of girls. So the girls are fine in there. They look okay. You think that looks huge. I worried about that as well. The front of it looks huge. So you're just like, oh God, now my titties will be lost. But they're not. They're alright. They're in there. They're in there and they're safe and they're kept away from the people. Can't be having the L nip slips now while you're out. But it's so nice on. Oh my God, get yourself one of them. I think I paid... I want to say 15. I think I paid 15 for that. My total came to like 140 quid, but I got a discount of 25%. So it was only 116, including postage. So it was all good in the hood. So, woo, we have that. There's a pile of clothes now sitting in front of me. What else did I buy on Boohoo? I bought. Not that. I bought. Right. Can I just say, I'm not as impressed with this as I thought it was going to be. So if you look this up, this is the. Plus Kerry Power Applique, 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 I don't know, Mesh Body Suit, right? Now, if you look at this on your woman in the model who, she just slays all the clothes she wears on Boohoo, let's be true, to be honest now. But when she wears this, right, the parrots on the front here look like they're embroidered into the mesh. That's what it looks like on Boohoo. Maybe my eyes were just deceiving me when I was looking at it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it looked like to me. But then when you get it, they're not, they're like, just tap, tagged, what's that word? Tacked on. So they're just like he in like three little places they're just stuck on with a bit a little bit of tread. Which really annoys me. Like that's annoying. I can't remember how much I paid for this. I think I paid eighteen or sixteen, something like that. Near twenty and anyways I paid for this, like it was on it was on sale. It was, it was reduced. I think I paid sixteen. I feel like it was sixteen or eighteen. Something like that and anyways, right? And then to top it all off, the fact that they're not fucking embroidered on like I thought were, oh my god, bless me language, I'm sorry. To top the fact that they're not embroidered on like I thought they were. They put the label on the wrong place. Do you see that? Right, so this is the front of this mesh bodysuit. And there's, there's the tag. The tag is on the front. There's the back, no tag. There's the front with a tag. So now I'm going to have to cut that off because it looks ridiculous. But it's nice on is my thing where I'm getting. Sorry, I'm complaining so much. But this is so nice on. It hides the girls. You could put like little petals over, which is probably what I'm gonna do, just to hide in case I jump in case you move throughout the night. But it's so nice on. It's lovely on. It's actually really flattering, and you wouldn't think it would be because it's mesh. You'd think you'd see every lump and bump, but it's actually really nice on. So I love that. I'm obsessed with this. I love Paris. I love that. And I was like, oh my god, I just want color. Everything has to be color. Um, I don't think I bought it. I waffled so much that I'm through it all now, and I'm very upset about that. I thought I had more shows. <laughs> But I got to go to work now. Uh, so stay tuned because I will have vlogs. I'm going to vlog hopefully every day. I've only got two memory cards. So I'm going to see if I can get one on like cheap or while I'm over there. Because I've only got two memory cards from my GoPro. And we're going to Port Ventura. So I want to film that because that's going to be so, 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 so fun. Um, I probably won't film our nights out because I'll either break my camera or lose my camera while the intoxication is going on. Do you know what I mean? But I will film the morning, the next morning. I'll show you our hotel because there's a story to go with that hotel as well. I have to read my views, apparently it looks like a prison. So we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. All is good in the world. We'll hope it turns out well. And I love you so, so, so much. Thank you all so, so, so much for... If you're back, thank you so much for coming back to my videos because I don't know why you'd watch me. I waffle, I'm a lot, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not well, not well in the head, like, do you know what I mean? But if you're new subscribers, I please subscribe down below. It means so much to me. Please subscribe down below. And I have so much more videos coming up. I have so much more plans to film. I'm a little bit tight on schedule because I'm working at the same time. So I'm trying to get the balance. But I'm finally getting to a point where I think I can like work it out and get off my butt and film. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I love you all. And I hope you subscribe. If you want notifications, to press the little bell down below. If not, just subscribe. Like the video, comment, everything. Love you all so, so much. Slan. Mwah.